A block of mass m equals 0 0.05 kilograms oscillates on a spring whose force constant is k equals 500 newtons per meter. Uh, the amplitude of the oscillations is 4 centimeters. Uh, calculate the maximum speed of the block. So as you can see here we got another uh, oscillation problem and um, let's see first thing we got to do is analyze the variables that we got. We got m so the mass of the block and k so we know we're gonna have to know uh, Hooke's law. And the amplitude of the oscillations is four centimeters, so we know that's gonna be A. And calculate the maximum speed, so V max. So first thing we gotta know is understand how, you know, a uh, box with a spring works. So let's say that this is a little spring and we got box of mass M. Let's call this equilibrium position where X equals zero. Let's put equilibrium in parentheses. And, um, Let's see here. So at this point, um, the box will be moving at its maximum. So how does that work? Well, let's say we stretch the box a little bit out here. And this is its like, you know, maximum stretch. So here it would be x equals x max. So in terms of oscillation, we just call that A, amplitude. And um, by that logic, we can, um, you know, stretch it the opposite way and here would be x equals x min and you could just call that negative a here uh, when we stretch the box all the way back the potential energy of the box is at maximum this is because once upon release it will shoot out and move across you know the x-axis so it will generally pick up with acceleration speed until it hits the midpoint here in which V of the box is maximum. And obviously at rest, uh, when we stretch it all the way back, K equals zero and V equals zero because K just equals uh, one half MV squared. And since there's no V, there's no K. And when it's at the maximum, you got also the potential energy of the spring to be at its maximum. And uh, as a result, uh, v would also equal zero because it's not moving when it's at its maximum. Like let's say you just pick it up and stretch it by that amount. And as a result, again, k equals zero. And obviously here, k would also be at its max. Now I'll just say k equals max. Um, what we got here is conservation of energy as well as Hooke's law. So conservation of energy says that, um, let's just say total energy equals the potential energy of the spring, us, plus the kinetic energy of the spring, just k. So using this, we can translate some of the variables over to both equations. So first, uh, let's start with the potential energy, since we actually know what a is. So the potential energy of a spring is uh, 1 half kx squared, k just meaning meters, uh, or no, x meaning meters, k meaning the spring constant. If you want to know how to derive this uh, expression, I'll have another video for that. So first, um, we want to see what the maximum potential energy is, right? Because if uh, if it's at its maximum, then k is at zero. So then we just know what the total energy is. So let's rewrite that as potential energy equals one half uh, k a squared. So it's amplitude. So, well, we actually know what it is because we know it's four centimeters. So US equals one half K, which we was given 500 newtons per meter times the uh, amplitude, which is 0 0.04 meters. But, you know, in the problem, they wrote four centimeters, same thing. So uh, that's about it. So let's just calculate it. So U of S equals uh, so let me pull out my calculator, 0. 0.5 times 500 times 0. 0.04 squared. We got the potential energy of the spring to be 0. 0.4, and always energy is in joules, unless otherwise stated, uh, there. So now we did one part of it. So now we know what the total energy could be once it's uh, stretched at its maximum. Now let's try to find K. Well, we know... Uh, to find its maximum energy in terms of k, it's just also going to be 0.4 joules, so that kind of works out. 
So let's do it. Uh, we know what k equals, it's 1 half mv squared, v as in velocity. Um, now we know what k is because potential energy is would be the same as k, total energy. Let's solve that. 0.4 joules equals 1 half uh, mv squared. Now uh, it's better to isolate the variable first before you do anything else. So let's clear out some space here. All right, so now we have this expression here. What it's asking for is the maximum speed, right? So the maximum energy for maximum speed. So we're gonna solve for V. Let's isolate V by dividing the expression by one half or multiplying by two and divide by M to isolating V. So we got V squared equals, uh, we know it's gonna be two times 0.4 joules divided by m. Obviously we gotta square root that to find v, which gives us v equals the square root of two times 0.4 over the mass, which says 0 0.05 kilograms. So we don't need to convert anything there. Now let's put that into the calculator and uh, square root of two times 0.4 divided by 0 0.05, we get the answer of four. And usually it would be in meters per second for velocity, giving us the maximum speed of the oscillating block and spring. All right, I hope you learned something from this video. If you have any questions, just leave in the comments below and uh, see you later.